Hey, last lock at the Ellsbury Arm. Apparently this is Tesco's. Can't see it, it's just there. Venture into Aylesbury. I know the anticipation. You thought we were going to see Aylesbury just a second ago. I know, I'm a tease. Uh, staircase lock. Locks number one and two, miles worth. On my own. Entering bottom lock. So we're in the bottom one and it's obviously half filling up because the first thing I had to do uh, was to fill, fill that one up. And I've closed the paddles at that end and now the water's coming down here and coming up here and hopefully it will equalise and we can open those gates. That's the plan. And then finally, and then finally, uh, we open these paddles, let the water in the chop gate. Let's bring us up to the level of the Grand Union and we're going to be going that way London that way Birmingham that way so there we go number one of um, lock number one of the Aylesbury Arm of which there are 16 locks going that way and today I've done 15 Mandy helped me do one last night but we did of course go that way uh, on Sunday and 16 locks and we've come back 16 locks wonder what's that way Come on a bit of a walking trip. Uh, <clears throat> about three miles from the canal, mostly uphill, as you can tell. And I'm on Ivinghoe Beacon, uh, one of the oldest settlements found. Oh, I can see a lion or a horse over there um, in the Buckinghamshire countryside, I guess, bordering what's that from Buckinghamshire, Northamptonshire. Um, it's very chalky up here, but it's beautiful and uh, give it a pan round. Uh, might zoom in in a minute. There's a, a thing in the in the. Oh, there's another dog. Um, yeah, what's a beautiful uh, little site, Ivinghoe. Yeah, the Ridgeway National Trail comes to part of this. And we're up here. It's right, that, isn't it? I'm gonna stop and have some. Um, I'm gonna stop. Stop and have some lunch. And then perhaps take some photos and uh, yeah, get you guys to enjoy the view. According to Siri, we are 753 feet above sea level. So, not quite Everest. It's a nice hillock. And after walking down the beacon and into Ivanhoe Village, I had a little look into St Mary the Virgin Church, which dates back to 1300s, which has some very nice windows and uh, very nice grounds and uh, a very austere spire. It's day 29 of the tour and yesterday we were climbing up a certain hill and uh, you'd have seen the video footage of being up there yesterday with Dottie. So now we're on to get now. 
But this one was only to be a short journey uh, going up past Slapton Lock and to a little marina uh, called Grove Lock, uh, which is just south of Linslade uh, or Fenny Stratford Station. And uh, that's where I um, needed to leave the boat for a couple of weeks. We had a very nice pub, which I enjoyed a, a beer in there and uh, went back, had a barbecue with some friends um, before having to take Dottie to the kennels because... It's, um, it's a sunny Saturday somewhere, somewhere, that might be familiar, a little bit familiar to some people. It's Dubrovnik. So day one of sailing Croatia, very successful, about four hours sailing today. And this is our little baby here. Um, she's a 41 foot uh, Bavaria. Um, and we are in Sloven or something like that. Um, one of the little ports um, on the mainland, uh, just up from Dubrovnik. It's beautiful. Rinska Palaka. This is a old Roman building here. Well, another beautiful day here out on the cuts. Um, just walked about four kilometres from my current position. Uh, and I'm in a place called Linslade, which effectively is part of the Leighton Buzzard um, area. And Mentmore Road, and Mentmore is famous for a certain event back in the 60s. Uh, those who might know can leave comments below. Grove Lock, well, that's where I'm heading to, that's where the ball was, the boat was moored from my period in Croatia. So uh, I came this way yesterday and I managed to miss videoing some of these beautiful gardens along this side of the, the cut. But these people are very lucky where they live here in Linslade. So uh, yeah, we're going to be heading, heading that way uh, on the further adventures of It's an Arabic Life up the Grand Union. <laughs> I forgot to mention this is uh, a new camera. Uh, details of which I will put below in the description. So, um, I think by now the story of what happened to my first camera, which is only a cheap Panasonic, um, I looked at replacing it and it wasn't going to be a huge amount of money, so no great loss other than the footage. Some great footage would have been lost um, to the depths of the, the Grand Union back that way. But um, yeah, some lovely history here. Um, I thought of some of which I might share with you. So when the canal was the only way to really um, transport goods up until the railway really took over, look, hey, look at this. There's some old, uh, old lines which may or may not have been seen before on video, first time for me, but um, right next to the cut, there's a, um, a line that actually cuts through the towpath and I guess would have gone to that industrial estate or the uh, Victorian industrial area in this little part of this marsh here just south of Linslade. So uh, it's not that they, nice that they preserve this. We're at um, 47, the 47 mile marker for Braunston. So I've just walked three miles from where I'm moored and we're just heading this way towards Grove Rock. Yes. Getting a little bit late in the season for ducklings, but I've just seen some signets up by Tesco's, um, Lake and Buzzard, and uh, uh, just two little babies left. Well, to the rest of your clutch, Mama. I love this um, the life where you get to see so much, so much wildlife. It's fantastic here. A little bit of advertising for, for you. Um, although, yeah. Checking this place out. Hmm. Bring your boat here to be done up. Well, I guess all boat yards look the same, don't they? Yep, I won't show you the number. And the wildlife meets uh, modern life of the A5. 
together with its graffiti. Yes. I'm glad we don't see too much of this out on the cut. I'm not sure if I'm going to capture it. Oh, there he comes. There he is. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mink. Oh, you just disappeared. Ah, oh, fabulous. Where are you gone, Mr. Mink? I'll swim under with the little bubbles. He just literally crossed my path and now he's gone to obviously go and feed his little clutch. I guess that's not too bad. Is it? Certainly looks like he's covered over some um, undesirable graffiti. Hmm. I guess the young folk don't know really what art is. So here we are at Grove Rock. Um, we'll check out the marina. Here's the pub uh, called Grove Rock. And obviously one of my fellow boaters coming through the lock heading north on the Grand Union and a lovely pub here. We had a nice meal, me and Rob, um, I think the 1st of June that was, um, before we went off to uh, the holiday. Keeping Dotty on the lead for safety's sake. Um, so here we are. It's another view of the marina in the background and the old lock cottage now turned into a beautiful pub. We've come further up the Grand Union today and Bletchley is now becoming a, uh, an extension of Milton Keynes.